Hello fashion sellers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee and on my channel I do refashioning of old or new clothing, sewing techniques and also I show you what I have designed, pattern drafted and sewn. And this is one example of my designs and yeah, you may have guessed by the thumbnail that I'm not 100% happy with what I have done with this dress. Um, so I want to encourage you through what I design, pattern and draft and so, um, so it, it's, it's difficult because on YouTube you want to put out all your best work so to speak. But well, sometimes your best work is the work that you're kind of struggling with as well. So I also want to put content out there that isn't necessarily um, a winner. So this dress for me is not a winner from the point of view of design. The fit, this section, gorgeous. It really is. You can see threads, my basting stitch that's happening here and it fits amazingly around the bust area up until the waistline and also i do like the hemline on this dress i must admit i do like the, the hemline there's just something that's just not gelling with my design i don't know what it is i've made this dress <laughs> uh, some time ago <laughs> quite a while ago i do remember i did upload a video about um a fabric haul um, some time ago, so um, I'll put that in the link below because I'm sure it was like more than 12 months ago. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, so it's been hanging in my studio for some time gathering dust um, along with one or two other items, and um, yeah, so because it's so hot in England right now, um, you know, a girl needs a, a, a living type dress in order to stay cool, so. I decided I'm going to share with you what I have done with this dress in order to make sure that I do wear it. But I'm also wanting your help because I'm not 100% sure about with some of the ideas I might go through, go for. So as you can see, it really does fit beautifully. So I'm happy with the construction of the pattern for the armhole and the centre front and I'll just turn my back so it really does it fits it really fits nice I am not wearing a bra as well which is like yeah join as well now yeah but if I wanted to um I, I could and the straps will come about here so um and that's and that's fine yeah um I, I don't mind it that way as long as the right colour um but yeah, it's, it's fine to hear to hear. Now I'll show you the rest of the dress. And I'll also put a picture up here. Oh, perhaps here. So that you can actually see the full length of the dress. Now, when you do have one or two issues with a project and it just isn't working out, the best thing to do is put it aside and forget about it for a number of days. <laughs> That's a couple of weeks, not necessarily months. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's nice to take, take stuff away from your project sometimes and then come back to it. So yeah, I've come back to this and I must have made it due to the hot weather as well. And I like how it fits, it feels comfortable on. The fit is good, the fit is really good. But what I'm having problems with is, I'll show you. So this is the front of the dress, gorgeous, exposed zip happening here, it's an open-ended zip, loving the hemline, but I do think it should be slightly shorter at the front, so I've got a high-low thing going on. As you can see here, I have unpicked it because I was hoping to put a section of fabric in there, and I'll show you my scraps in a minute, uh, and maybe that would be a solution to just having a bit of the contrasting fabric on the inside showing on the 
right side. But I was hoping that, you know, when, as you walk, you would actually, you know, see the fabric from underneath. Um, which you can do at, at times. So I decided I'll make a cummerband, which is here. And I'll place that around my waistline. It has some press studs on there. That's been around to the back. So we've got this kind of bit going on. That's, and that's nice, it's, it's okay, it's not, it's not bad. My hands in my pockets. But it, 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 it didn't quite get me. It, I, I wasn't 100% ha happy with it. So I'll just turn around to the back so you can see the back. So I just need one more thing for it to pop. And I have a little bit of fabric left over from my scraps and came up with this. Not finished yet. And what I'm, I was going to do it that way, but it's not enough. But I suppose I could actually. Just turn that like so. Just pull it aside a little. See how it, it just pops. And I think that is the missing link that I was looking for. And it helps tie in underneath and then I was also thinking maybe what I'll do is I'll do that kind of effect and maybe just have them sew that into position but I'm not keen on that idea though. Hey, maybe just one. Hmm. That's an idea. Maybe I'm, 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 I'm going for the maybe shortening this a little bit with the highlight thing. I do like the fact that I could put, put a go day in the side seam here. Uh, I think I may just have enough. I may just have enough. So yeah, so that is my dress that I haven't finished. And it's nice that I'm actually showing you an, out, uh, a, an, an outfit, a, a dress that hasn't been completed. So I'm going to show you the inside and that isn't completely um, finished off either because like I said, I just stopped halfway through because it's like, okay, Ollie, you're obviously not happy with this. Move on to another, sort of, um, another project and that's what I did. So I'm going to show you the inside of my dress now. So here is my dress. And like I said, I'm not 100% happy with it. There's Bring the camera down in a moment so you can have a look on the inside. Um, I do want to save the dress. I do want to wear it in other words, but um, I am going to need to do a couple of changes. I think it may be more, I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe with your help, um, I might get, you know, I do like the fit is amazing. Well, the top half of the bodice, the shoulder um but and i love the hemline as well i just i'm just struggling i'm just struggling with it and i think it's because this is such a gorgeous fabric the inside and but it it there wasn't enough to make anything substantial with that so i just thought it would be nice to complement it with this fabric but um no um, let me see, I do have some scraps, um, but it's not much, it's not much at all, and yeah, that's it. So it, it's, there's not a lot I can work with if I wanted to change it up at all. So yeah, I'll bring the camera down so that you can have a look. I'm just going to show you the inside of the garment. And I must, I must admit, I do love this zip. 
I think it's a great match to fabric. I do like the fact that it's exposed and also the plastic finish that it has at the top and the bottom of the zip. Yeah, it's really nice. So I'll just show you the inside. As you can see, <laughs> a close-up of my basting, my basting stitch there, and also on the end of the facing here. And it's elastic casing. And I have neatened my raw edges or seams with a Hong Kong finish. So I have done that side and the opposite side. I'm working on <laughs> the inside seams. Um, but I don't have enough so to do the other side. But I could get away because it's only, it's only a small amount. I was, I was hoping to go around the pocket as well. But I can work on that. And the... See, I did sew down these seams and then I I wasn't totally happy with it so I thought if I could insert like a go day well it wouldn't be like a go day it would be a go day in there like so I might be a little bit more happier so that could be an option and yeah, let's turn it around to the back. Yeah, just happy with the back. And the bottom. Yes, it's beautifully finished off. And I've hand sewn this into position. So it looks nice and neat and professional. And yeah. So I think it's, I think it is, good for me to show you makes my projects that I've designed and not totally happy with and you know not always showing you the successes that I have and I do have one or two more that are hanging somewhere <laughs> um which I will share with you at some point when it's when it's the right time for me to show them I will do but there isn't that many I must admit um I do try to finish off any projects that I'm not totally happy with even if it means pulling it apart and making it into something else or teaming it with another fabric and but I do like this I don't I, I just at the moment I just don't know how to save it well quite a while I don't know how to say it so I may go with the options that I've just suggested I may not if you have any suggestions then you know more than welcome to put those in the comments it is so hot in Britain right now oh my goodness um so yeah I am, I, I do want to finish this project. I really do, because it's been hanging around for quite some time, um, along with one or two other things, which I'll share with you at some point. I know I will. Um, uh, there isn't that many actually, which I'm so happy about. But I, I don't want to pull it apart and join this with another fabric, which I could do. There is a possibility of that. Um, it's, it's, it's really finding the time to play around with it, ha you know, on my body again and see if I can make any other improvements to it. Like, like I said, you know, with the, with the, um, the tie belts, it's amazing how something so little can kind of make something pop. And when I did that, I was like, okay, I like it now more, a little bit more. And it was a case of, okay, if I just had a bit more of this fabric, it may be a little bit more of a success. But I think just having that narrow strip along around my waistline has helped to elevate the outfit a little bit more, elevate the dress a little bit more. So, um, yeah, I am happy with that. So it's a project that I'm not going to go to straight away but um, I will be rethinking about how I am going to go about making some changes and then maybe just really minute changes. But 
I will keep you informed. That's the key thing. I will definitely keep you informed. So if you have any comments that you want to make about my dress, you are more than welcome to do so. Just put those in the comments and I will definitely read them and take on board your suggestions. And I will come back to this outfit, um, this dress. I will definitely come back and let you know what I'm going to go what I am going to go ahead with in order to make sure I do wear this. Um, maybe not this summer, um, hopefully, well, most definitely next summer. And um, yeah, so if you have any comments, please put those in the comment box below. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the idea of me showing um, some of my projects that I haven't really worked or I'm not totally happy with, please put that in the comment box below because I really like to know whether that proves to be helpful for you and yeah that's all I have to say right now so yeah I look forward to reading your comments and please do yeah tell me if you are enjoying this kind of video and I will put a lot more of this kind of video out there where I am showing you what I've designed what I've patterned and what I have sewn um, I will be also doing I'm hoping to do um, uh, live videos but I'm just working on a layout that is suitable for me to do that within my studio, which is proving to be a little bit of a challenge. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping to go ahead with that. I'm looking forward to it because the last one I did was um, I, I enjoyed it. And I think it's a way forward as well, especially um, being on YouTube and there's so much competition. So, like I said, put your comments in down below. Please do like this video and please do share. And I will see you next time.